Hello everybody, Jordan Nelson here. Really quick video today. Just want to show you my favorite color grading tool in Final Cut Pro. Let's get started. Okay, so you've shot a wedding, you have a clip that you're looking at, you're wanting to color grade, but you're wanting to isolate certain colors that you want to manipulate. Like your entire shot looks great, with the exception of the grass in the background. It is just way too green. So maybe at that point you rely on a LUT that isolates those greens, or maybe you try to change the color of the entire shot to get rid of that green. But this tool, if you're new to video editing, is kind of tucked away in Final Cut Pro if you don't already know about it. But it is my favorite color grading tool because it gives me the most control over individual colors, which I love that. So let's hop in. So let's say you've saturated your shot and you like the way all the other colors look, but you don't like that green and yellow in the background. You feel like it's just too much. You want to mellow out those greens. Now, just to note, this is not how I edited it for the film. I deleted that project file, so uh, I don't want to go back through and, and try to recreate exactly what I did before, but just to prove the point here, we can isolate those colors. So go up here to your color tab and then choose hue saturation curve. So you click it right there and then you can manipulate the hue versus saturation, hue versus hue, hue versus luma, luma versus saturation. All, so all these different options. So the one that I use in 100% of my wedding films is hue versus saturation. So you click on the dropper here and then you select a point in the background and it will choose that color on this line for you to manipulate. So watch this. As I bring it down, it desaturates that green. But as you can tell in this curve, it's also bringing down some red over here and orange. So it's bringing down quite a bit. So you want to bring it down slightly. So if you like where your greens are right there, perfect. But now it desaturated some of the skin tones. Let's say uh, you want to resaturate that. So you choose that spot and then you can bring that back up. And maybe you want the pink not so saturated. You select that. You can bring that down as well. You've muted those greens in the background. It looks more natural. The pinks look more natural. So let's go ahead and take a look at a before and after on this one. This one as well, those greens, I don't love how saturated they are. Now this is very much preferential. So if you like the color of the grass in this, absolutely keep it. But for myself, I like to mute those greens I like the way those greens look in that shot. Now maybe as well you want to change the hue of that grass. So let's go ahead and choose the color of the grass. Let's say you want it a bit warmer. Now in this last shot here, there's usually a lot of yellow lighting, tungsten lighting indoors. If you can't get away from it, this is a great tool for that as well. So use your dropper here. Get rid of all that yellow, but as you can see, it's also making her face less saturated and you might like that's maybe what you want, but you could always click on her face as well if you want to bring that back up and saturate. Maybe that's too orange, like totally up to you, but you can manipulate those colors individually. Really helpful. So let's take a before and after of that. Now let's look really quickly at these other tools in the hue saturation curve section. So let's say we want to use hue versus luma. This is what would happen. Brighter, darker. Now if you go too much, you get that really weird looking texturized shot. So once again, very subtle, but I really don't touch hue versus luma or hue versus hue very much. Sometimes I will if I do want to brighten up a color a little bit, but the hue versus saturation is the one that I'm using most of the time. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I hope this is just another tool in your toolbox to make your wedding films better for your clients. Thanks so much for watching everybody. See y'all in the next video.